How you doing? <laughs> All right, we are on a cruise, and so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and review of a plug. Um, it's got multiple outlets and uh, a couple USB ports, and I think it's gonna be really good for cruise ships. All right, so here we are on the cruise. I uh, We purposely didn't open it yet so that we could do the unboxing on the cruise ship itself. Let me get a hand from Nikki. Still need a hand. There we go. All right, so in here. Oh, and by the way, this is a POW save model NBW-119. NBW-119 by POW save. No surge protector because surge protectors aren't allowed on cruise ships. All right, so in the box is the power converter itself and or the power plug, I should say. It doesn't convert. Um, so here we go. Power save, user manual, NBW-119, and quick overview, multifunction design. Three USB charging ports. Oh, three. Hmm. That's good. Total output DC, five volts, three amps, and three AC outlet plugs. Perfect for smartphones and other rechargeable electronics. Compact design. I agree. It's very compact design. So here we get this thing wrapped up. We'll uh, take a quick look at this. So obviously here's where you plug it into the ship. Standard uh, US AC outlet, three prong. Um, and then we've got uh, one extra that you can plug other things into, a second one, and a third one. So that's nice. And then on the other side, we've got the USB ports. Um, it's a smart three amp total. Again, POW save. I think they had a model that had a not only a US, the three USBs, but there was like two USBs and then a USB-C, um, but we ended up going with the USB one. Yeah, we mostly have regular USB uh, plugs at this point. We'll, I guess, slowly, like the rest of the world, convert over to USB-C, but we don't really have a whole, mu whole bunch of those at this point. All right, I'm gonna plug this in and uh, we'll try it out. All right, so we happen to be on a uh, Carnival cruise ship. So I think one of the biggest complaints about cruise ships is they typically only have like one uh, 110 volt outlet uh, in the main cabin area, and then they usually have one in the in the bathroom as well. So that's a problem with people like us who have tons and tons of electronics. Um, so I guess the first thing I'll note here is because of the orientation of this particular receptacle, it is going to block uh, the one that's on the bottom. So we're going to put this in here and the one on the bottom is going to be, uh, we're not going to be able to get to it. So that turns this three down to really just one, or I'm sorry, two, sorry. Um, all right, so there's that. Uh, we still have access to the USBs, so let's plug some USB stuff in there. We got a watch charger and a phone charger. There's a 50% chance that you'll plug this in wrong, and I plug it in wrong every single time. Oh, I got that one right on the first try, though. Look at that. All right, so. Let's see here, we're gonna plug in a switch controller. We got power there. We are going to plug in some AirPods. And is there an indicator? I guess there's not an indicator on these. And then we're going to do a Apple Watch. And we got power there. And then We have got a hair dryer. So this ought to be a good test, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, plug that in. 
So we turn this on yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. All right. So that seems good too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that is, you know, really nice because we went from a single outlet to at least two and then three USB ports. So I would say that this is uh, a good buy. We're gonna put the uh, link to this down in the description. Thanks for watching and uh, click like and subscribe so that you see more videos in the future. Take care, bye.